Now, the Alan Handelman Show. As we continue with Dick D. Bartolo, the Giz Wiz, the coolest gadgets, and coming up in just a bit, the executive producer of all the Batman movies will be joining us. Thank you. Having fun. This is fun. Okay, let's uh, move on. We've got a lot of stuff here. There's a gadget called the iFrog Boost. I, I think iFrog Boost Near Field Audio Speaker. Yes, this is a, this is a very clever little device. Uh, I'm trying to find it now on my website. Yeah, here. I skipped a uh, few. I skipped. Yeah, that's, down. Like, that's no problem. So yeah, I got it now. Uh, from, yeah, from iFrogs, and it's called Boost. So um, picture a little box, maybe uh, it's probably four inches long, uh, three inches wide, and an inch high. Two little speakers on each side, and so what's neat about it is. You start playing music on your cell phone and you say to someone, can you hear, the, is this a great song? And they go, oh, I can hardly hear it. And I go, oh, you're right, you're right. Let me hear, let me just put my phone down. And you just lay it on top of the boost and it is automatically amplified. Now, they, they, they boost calls it, iFrogs calls it, near field audio. Uh, and it amplifies it just by laying your phone on it. And it doesn't matter what if it's an iPod or an Android or an iPhone, uh, just lay it on the device and it amplifies it, add some bass to it. You can also use a direct cable if you want, just go from headphone jack out uh, to the boost in. And quite frankly, if you use the little cable, the, the bass response is better, but you don't have the wow factor of just people going, what? How, how did you do that? Yeah. Uh, and, and just one uh, little hint, because none of us read instruction books. Uh, one end of the device where you turn it on has a little blue LED light to indicate that the boost is on. The speaker on your cell phone has to face that direction. If it faces away from that direction... Uh, it won't get amplified. I like, their, so, I like their idea. I like what they're trying to solve the problem. I don't know if it's quite there yet, but yeah. Yeah, no. How much? But yeah. Uh, oh, that, that's, what's, that's what's great about it. The list price is 40 bucks. Oh. And, and yeah, that, that's, that's why I, uh, you know, when I heard about it, I said to the guy, yeah, I hope we're not talking about 60 to 70. The guy said, no, list is 40 and they're probably discounting it on Amazon. This is interesting too, a gadget that I, I've not, I'm not that into soda to really buy it, but there's a soda maker, and you reviewed it. It's the uh, Soda Stream Genesis. Yes, yeah, yeah, Soda Stream. I'm liking Soda Stream. A uh, couple things it about works, it. Huh? Okay. Yeah, it does work. It does work. So uh, it is for, for what it is. I know uh, Leo said, "Oh, I love the idea, but it's kind of pricey." You know how fast you'll get your money back really depends on where you live. Do you know what you pay for a bottle of soda, uh, Alan, like a, one of those two liter bottles of Coke? Oh, a two liter at a convenience store or a supermarket. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, it, a convenience store, man, uh, two bucks, three bucks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Here in the city, two to, to two seventy nine for one of those two liter bottles. So basically soda stream, uh, the unit, uh, they started 80 bucks. Um, and you get a CO2 cartridge. The CO2 cartridge is not like the little ones we had when we were a kid. You would, could make a bottle or two of salsa. These things make 60 enough gas in there to do 60 liters of soda. So you screw the, the uh, soda bottle into this device. It come, it, you have to use their soda bottles uh, because you're putting gas into it and they're regulating the pressure. You push down on the top. And you, you hear uh, a god-awful weird kind of beep. One beep is you have low carbonation, two beeps, medium carbonation, three beeps, high carbonation, so you can customize it the way you want. What I love doing, it, and, and uh, a couple minutes ago I said, Alan, I have to run get some salsa, is I just love turning plain water into salsa. And is it really as good quality as what you buy yes, at a store? The, the, the salsa is excellent. So I know producing a bottle of uh, salsa with, with the combustibles that you use up uh, is 25 cents. And making a bottle of actual soda using, and they have a million different flavors. They have a, a takeoff on like their version of Coke Zero and their version of uh, all different uh, popular drinks. Have you tried it with uh, juices around the house? Yes, yes. My friend Dennis upstairs uh, got one, and he said, you know, I'm not even using their flavorings. I'm, I'm making 
I'm making apple soda. And I said, you know, next time I think of it, I'm going to make coffee soda and see how that works since I love iced coffee coffee how much are refills uh, for the uh, gas uh, that the refills are, are 15 bucks and this is how it works you just you bring in your your whole uh co2 cartridge and you just give it on the counter and they just hand you another one and it's, and it's 15 bucks the reason i think this is going to be successful is it is at least in the city everywhere we have this world famous delicatessen here named zabar's zabar's carries it Bed Bath and Beyond carries it. Uh, a hardware store we have here called Basics Plus, which which is a chain. They carry it. So within ten blocks of my house, there are three places where you can exchange these cartridges. Soda uh, Stream Genesis. Exactly. That's, that's the name. The, that's the uh, that's the uh, the one I ended up with. The Gem, I think it's called the Gem, is the eighty dollar machine. The Genesis is the, is the hundred dollar machine. But just buy it buy it by style uh, styling because they basically all do the exact same thing. They all take the exact same cartridge and they all take the exact same bottle. It is the latest electronic gadgets and not electronic gadgets. Anything that's yeah. cool. It's Dick D. Bartello, the Giz Wiz. That sounds great. Talk about that gadget called the Slim Scan. Okay, now this, this you know, it's, it's, it's really interesting how long it takes products to get to marketplace. So Leo and I saw this at CES 2011, and I think it became available in spring of this year. Uh, it, it's, it's quite unique. It, it's a credit card-sized scanner that literally could fit in your wallet. Uh, if you picture, probably if you stacked three credit cards, one on top of the other, you would get a, a pretty good idea of how big Slim, uh, yeah, Slim Scan is. And basically, you run it over a business card. It uh, pulls the information off it. It can add it to your phone book, you know, the, the company's name, address, and phone. If you want to... What they're pitching it for is that they are saying businessmen lose a lot of money because they can't keep track of their little receipts. Yes. They, they run into the drugstore and they need something and, you know, they, they spend $10 and, and they roll it up and put it in their pocket. So the theory here is you get the receipt, you step aside you take your, your your scanner out and you just run it across. I think it holds something like two or three hundred scans. And then when you get back to your office, you plug in the USB cable and download everything. It has a it's unbelievable. It has a little postage size uh, LCD screen, so you can actually go through it and see what you've scanned. Um, and list price is one thirty nine. It's not too and bad. It, no, and it's starting to show up just about the ninety nine ninety nine mark, which will make it, you know, that there are, we we talked about this before. There are magic numbers, and under one hundred dollars is one of those magic numbers. Uh, so, um, and it's from Plan On, P L A N O N, and it's Slim Scan is the model. I know you love toys. I don't know if you have your electric trains. Or your train up all year round. Oh, I guess yeah, you do. Yours, do. yours aren't like, you know, put in the box in the closet to Christmas. Yours are out in your backyard, right? My, my trains are uh, up year round. Uh, my my uh, YouTube channel is, is Mad Maddest, M A D M A D D E S T. And if you go there, just click on a uh, search Gizwiz Railroad. And you can see my trains running daytime and nighttime. Really, it's twenty live. Yeah, mad what? maddest. Mad maddest is my YouTube channel. All right, let's take a quick break. One more segment with Dick D. Bartello and the executive producer of The Dark Knight Rises, Alan Handelman for The Pet Pantry. That's feedyourpets.com, feedyourpets.com. And you hear me talk about it. Yes, I feed the food from The Pet Pantry to my dog, Chewy. I love very much, and my cat I also love. But this is something that anybody can take advantage anywhere in the country. If you live in North Carolina, specifically the Triangle and Triad, they deliver absolutely free. But wherever you are, it is worth visiting this website because the prices for the brands of cat and dog food they sell can't be beat anywhere. 
feedyourpets.com. No chemicals, no uh, byproducts, none of these preservatives that's not meant for human consumption. In fact, everything they sell is human grade, but at a great price. Now, here's how to get $5 off your first order. You use my name as the code, Alan. Feedyourpets.com. Feedyourpets.com. Hi, this is Lewis Black, and you're listening to the Alan Handelman Show. So shut up and listen, okay? Just shut up, listen, and shut up. It's the latest must-have electronics, the cool gadgets with Dick D. Bartolo, the Gizwiz, coming up. The executive producer of all the Batman movies will be joining us. Dick, talk about that Sony camera or thing that you attach to a video camera and allows you to stream. Sony mm-hmm. brought 18 reporters out to Sedona, Arizona, um, where they have all these red rock formations. And it was, it was an incredible event where in the morning you would walk into a big conference room where they were serving coffee and danger and stuff. And on a table were all these new Sony products. And we, people were taking a thing and signing a sheet of paper and the guy running it said, don't, don't sign for anything. Just pick up whatever you want and go out. And we have buses waiting outside. We'll drive it all over Sedona, shoot video that you like. So... I one day I picked up the this little Sony uh, camcorder, and I said to the guy, you know, I see this little card, uh, the little uh, label on the front of this thing says uh, Wi-Fi enabled. Uh, I said, can you actually stream video live? And he said, yes. If you're in a Wi-Fi area, you can do your own little show with this webcam. If somebody can go on and watch you live, the more people that come on, aren't you using some bandwidth? Well, you know, it really depends. Uh, now, for example, I use uh, Dropcam, uh, and they're at dropcam.com. I have, I have a 24-hour Dropcam on my boat, and my Dropcam last, now it might be two years ago, when we had a hurricane, or or maybe it's last year, so there was this hurricane predicted with a, an incredible tidal surge. They were talking about a twenty foot tidal surge, which basically would mean the marina, the boats would ride up over the top of the pilings and then just go float down the river. Uh, so I, I I said to the dock master, "Can I stay on my boat?" And he said, "No, the marina is going to be evacuated." Um, uh, so, uh, I, I said, wait a minute, I have a drop cam, uh, at home. <laughs> it looks out on the street. I'm going to bring it down to my boat and I have Wi-Fi on my boat because I have a phone line. Uh, so I hooked a drop cam on the boat and I made the drop cam public and I have a lot of fans and fans are great. They go, Dick, you go to sleep. We're watching your boat. Oh, that <laughs> is great. We, we have great. your boat up. We'll, we'll email you an emergency thing if your boat. So Dropcam is a special camera that you use yes. on dropcam.com? Yes, exactly. And so they are doing all the hosting. Now, so there could be a time lag. If a lot of people are watching it, they might be seeing I see, yeah. Uh, you know, but... None of it has to do with you having to host anything. So that's what I like about it is that no matter where I go, um, I can look in on my boat. And uh, when, when, when I tape the show with Leo, I have a drop cam in my studio because now the show's kind of popular. So I often have guests who drop in to watch us record it. So now Leo uh, cuts to my camera, which is mounted right directly in front of me. Mm-hmm. But then he cuts to this overhead drop cam, so he can make fun of what the guests are doing. You know, oh like, yeah, that's great. You know, I think your I think your guests are sleeping. I'm yeah, not sure. the technology is just yeah, incredible. It's, it's, it, it, yeah, and there are I, I think there are one hundred and thirty nine dollars. Yeah, it it's it's knockout amazing. By the way, that the, I, I just looked quickly the the Sony uh, cam that you can broadcast live from is called the Sony Bloggy, uh, B-L-O-G-G-I-E. Some of these things sound like a silly idea until I hear it described. It may still be a silly idea. This is called... Uh, <laughs> That's never stopped me before. Well, this is called a Swan MP3 doorbell. Now, oh, I, I got to admit, yes. I didn't read it. I didn't read it, but I had to ask you about it. 
Yes, this turned out to be so bizarre that I actually like it. Okay. Uh, so it, it, it's the Swan MP3 doorbell. So basically, this is, it doesn't really replace your, you, you don't wire this in, okay? So I just want to make that clear up front, is it comes with its own doorbell, which you glue on your front door. This is good if everybody's out in the backyard and you're not going to hear your regular bell or you're upstairs. Um, so you, you put the doorbell on the front door and then the wireless doorbell will ring inside and there's a little cl a click switch in there. You can have like different kinds of bells and, and, and buzzers or you can click it to the SD card slot and then it'll play was that whatever is on the SD card. So you can download little bits of your favorite songs and set your doorbell to be whatever music you want. They have even designed, it's very weird, they even designed it that they have little music controls right on the front of the device. So if you just want to, then bring the doorbell out in the backyard and just sit it on the table. This is not going to be your main music source. But you can then play the music that's on the doorbell through the built-in doorbell speaker. It has a volume control, skip track, go back track. Uh, it's really clever. Huh. And, and uh, as we go through here, I forgot to make it. Was it Swan? Yeah, Swan yeah, yeah, MP3 Swan. doorbell. It's called yeah. Swan MP3 doorbell. Next up is a toy I want you to talk about. I know Leo is all excited about this helicopter toy. Yes, this thing, I, I, I know about this because I flew the uh, first version. So this is... Parrot? Uh, it, the, the Parrot, it's a helicopter with four motors, four sets of propellers. It's complicated. With two video cameras. Oh. And there's one video camera that faces down and one video camera that faces forward. And again, Leo operated his from Petaluma. But I believe you watch the video on your controller so you know what the, the, uh, the cop is doing in the air. But I, after the show... I, Lee only did it in the studio, where I think he ran it into lights. Uh, but he, he ran it out of his office, and he was looking down to see what employees were doing. We had a lot of fun with it. Yes. Uh, but later on, someone emailed me and said, oh, Dick, I hope you watch, because after the show, Leo took it outside and, and flew it uh, up higher than some of the, the buildings there. So this thing is really nifty. It's expensive. It's 300 bucks. Uh, but it, it's quite something. It's great if he could just set it to hover in one spot. Yeah, it's called the Parrot AR Drone 2.0. So that's the new version is the 2.0. All right, here is something that if you're uh, doing construction around the house, the Pro Sensor 710. Oh, yes. Uh, the, yes, this is very clever. Uh, I don't have it in front of me now. This is the one with all the lights on the front, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is a very clever idea, and I saw this at the National Hardware Show. Uh, if you used a stud finder, you put it on the wall, you slowly move it over, and you'll hear a beep, and a light will come on, and you draw a mark. That means you're at one edge of the beam, so then, or the stud. So then you take it, and you move it, past where you think the beam will be and you slowly move it back and it'll buzz or a red light will come on and you make a mark there. Now, the between those two marks, you are now seeing the width of the beam. So this guy came up with an idea. Why not have a really wide finder with seven LEDs so that as you move across the wall... If three LEDs light up, now you know that beam that you're over is that is that wide. Yeah. If yeah, four yeah. of these light up, now you know you're over a beam that wide. So it's very clever. Very cool. One more. Actually, you could take your pick. I, I wrote down iBorscope, okay. Ibor Box Light, and Jet Pro Shower Spot. Uh, latest gadgets from gizwiz.biz. Okay, you know, I'm going to do the, the Jet uh, the Jet Pro Shower Spa, only because it, it was so clever. It looks uh, cool. The good picture of it. Uh, looks, looks, I love a good stream of water. 
Yeah, exactly. So again, National Hardware Show. So I see this uh, device and it has a shower head and a massage thing and uh, one that you can pivot up so it hits your shoulders and one down for your back. And I said to the guy, I love the idea of this thing. How much plumbing is this? And the guy said, uh, one connection, you can do it in 20 minutes. I said, what? So he said, here, let me take it off the wall. So, Alan, this is really great. Every th all the plumbing is behind this device. Then there's one of those flexible stainless hoses mm -hmm. that connects to where your shower head is. It still uses your current water controller, your current hot and cold water device, and it just connects to your current shower head. You take your shower head off, hook the stainless hose to that. The only thing you have to do is probably drill a couple holes in the tile because the thing is rather heavy. Mm -hmm. Depending on, there are a bunch of models. I think they started about one eighty up to five hundred dollars, and then you can buy the simplest to the most complicated and all the hose, everything is built in and done behind the wall where you don't see it. And actually not behind the wall. This thing is about two inches thick. So even though it sits on the wall, it's two inches out from the wall and all the plumbing and everything is hidden behind the device. Does it and add, does it add uh, water pressure? Uh, no, you need to have, uh, I, th I think he said 32 pounds of pressure. Uh, again, you can check my website for that. But it's a very clever idea because they really made it easy for a person to install it. Oh, I just found it now. And uh, jet, da, 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 da. yeah, they, they run from, uh, yeah, 30, it must have at least 30 uh, PSI. 30 PSI. Here, jet yeah. Pro Shower Spa. Spa. And, and that's their uh, website, Jet Pro Showers Spas.com. Hey, anything you're interested in, just go to his website, gizwiz.biz. Just scroll down and all the links to his podcast and Mad Magazine. It's all and there. And Twit. All the shows uh, Twit that TV. I've done with Leo uh, are there. Links to each weekly Gizwiz. And you know, I'm flying out to uh, San Francisco, then going up to Petaluma to do. Uh, our show is moving to Tuesdays. We, we, we record it now Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Pacific Time. And the first new show is this coming Tuesday, so I'm, I'm going to Petaluma to do it live. But it'll be our 1,373rd uh, Gizwe show. Yeah. <laughs> we're coming up to seven years of doing this show. And we're talking about a, a video podcast here with thousands and thousands of people, dare I say millions of people over who watch this and this is on the internet. Yeah. And well, I'm, yeah, the Leo does, you know, he's built an incredible twit this week in tech. Uh, an incredible network. Yeah. Leo uh, Laporte from Tech TV. And from ZDTV, Tech TV. And he does yep. his own show called The Tech Guy Labs. And his radio show syndicated on many Yeah, stations. his syndicated radio show. Great guy. He, a great guest. Weeks, 181 stations he has now. Yeah. And he, and he doesn't have weekends off. And I know the no. feeling. Listen, <laughs> Dick, always a pleasure having you on. Enjoy the rest of the summer. And thanks again. You're welcome. Take care. All right, coming up, we're going to talk to the executive producer of the new Batman movie. In fact, all the Batman movies, The Dark Knight Rises. And speaking of high-tech stuff, is it possible to buy high-quality CDs that have better highs and better lows? That's in the third hour. When Gotham is ashes, you have my permission to die. This is the Alan Handelman Show, compelling talk radio. And now, the Alan Handelman Show. As we continue with Dick D. Bartolo, the Giz Wiz, the coolest gadgets, and coming up in just a bit, the executive producer of all the Batman movies will be joining us. Yeah, I'm having fun. This is fun. Okay, let's uh, move on. We've got a lot of stuff here. There's a gadget called the iFrog Boost. I, I think iFrog Boost Near Field Audio Speaker. Yes, this is a, this is a very clever little device. Uh, I'm trying to find it now on my website. Yeah, here. I skipped a uh, few. I skipped. Yeah, that's, down. Like, that's no problem. So yeah, I got it now. Uh, from, yeah, from iFrogs, and it's called Boost. So um, picture a little box. Maybe uh, it's probably 
four inches long, uh, three inches wide and an inch high, two little speakers on each side. And so what's neat about it is you start playing music on your cell phone and you say to someone, can you hear, the, is this a great song? And they go, oh, I can hardly hear it. And I go, oh, you're right, you're right. Let me hear, let me just put my phone down. And you just lay it on top of the boost and it is automatically amplified. Now, they, they, they boost calls it, iFrogs calls it, near field audio. Uh, and it amplifies it just by laying your phone on it. And it doesn't matter what, if it's an iPod. Is, I just love turning plain water into Celsa. And is it really as good a quality as what you buy yes, at a store? The, the, the Celsa is excellent. So I know producing a bottle of uh, Celsa with, with the combustibles that you use up uh, is 25 cents. And making a bottle of actual soda using, and they have a million different flavors. They have a, a takeoff on like their version of Coke Zero and their version of uh, all different uh, popular drinks. Have you tried it with uh, juices around the house? Yes, yes. My friend Dennis upstairs uh, got one, and he said, "You know, I'm not even using their flavorings. I'm, I'm making, I'm making apple soda." And I said, "You know, next time I think of it, I'm going to make coffee soda and see how that works, since I love iced." coffee how much are refills for the uh, gas uh, that the refills are, are 15 bucks and this is how it works you just you bring in your your whole uh co2 cartridge and you just give it on the counter and they just hand you another one and it's, and it's 15 bucks the reason i think this is going to be successful is it is at least in the city everywhere we have this world famous delicatessen here named zabar's zabar's carries it Bed Bath and Beyond carries it. Uh, a hardware store we have here called Basics Plus, which which is a chain soda stream. Uh, a couple things it about works, it. Huh? Okay. Yeah, it does work. It does work. So uh, it is for for what it is. I know uh, Leo said, "Oh, I love the idea, but it's kind of pricey." You know how fast you'll get your money back really depends on where you live. Do you know what you pay for a bottle of soda, uh, Alan, like a, one of those two liter bottles of Coke? Oh, a two liter at a convenience store or a supermarket? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. well, it, a convenience store, man, uh, two bucks, three bucks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Here in the city, two to, to two seventy nine for one of those two liter bottles. So basically soda stream, uh, the unit, uh, they started 80 bucks. Um, and you get a CO2 cartridge. The CO2 cartridge is not like the little ones we had when we were a kid. You would, could make a bottle or two of Celsa. These things make 60 enough gas in there to do 60 liters of soda. So you screw the, the uh, soda bottle into this device. It come, it, you have to use their soda bottles uh, because you're putting gas into it and they're regulating the pressure. You push down on the top and you, you hear a, uh, a god-awful weird kind of beep. One beep is you have low carbonation, two beeps, medium carbonation, three beeps, high carbonation, so you can customize it the way you want. What I love doing it, and, and uh, a couple minutes ago I said, Alan, I have to run get some salsa. They carry it. So within 10 blocks of my house, there are three places where you can exchange these cartridges. Soda uh, Stream Genesis. Exactly. That's, that's the name. The, that's the uh, that's the uh, the one I ended up with. The gem, I think it's called the gem, is the eighty dollar machine. The Genesis is the, is the hundred dollar machine. But just buy it buy it by style uh, styling because they basically all do the exact same thing. They all take the exact same cartridge and they all take the exact same bottle. It is the latest electronic gadgets and not electronic gadgets. Anything that's yeah. cool. It's Dick D. Bartello, the Giz Wiz. That sounds great. Talk about that gadget called the Slim Scan. Okay, now this, this you know, it's, it's, it's really interesting how long it takes products to get to marketplace. So Leo and I saw this at CES 2011, and I think it became available in spring of this year. Uh, it, it's, it's quite unique. It, it's a credit card-sized scanner that literally could fit in your wallet. Uh, if you picture, probably if you stacked three credit cards, one on top of the other, you would get a, a pretty good idea of how big Slim, uh, yeah, Slim Scan is. And basically, 
iPod or an Android or an iPhone. Uh, just lay it on the device and it amplifies it, adds some bass to it. You can also use a direct cable if you want. Just go from headphone jack out uh, to the boost in. And quite frankly, if you use a little cable, the the bass response is better. But you don't have the wow factor of just people going, "What? How, how did you do that?" Yeah. Uh, and and just one uh, little hint because none of us read instruction books. Uh, one end of the device where you turn it on has a little blue. LED light to indicate that the boost is on. The speaker on your cell phone has to face that direction. If it faces away from that direction, uh, it won't get amplified. I like, their, so, I like their idea. I like what they're trying to solve the problem. I don't know if it's quite there yet, but yeah. Yeah, no. How much? Yeah. Uh, oh, that, that's, what's, that's what's great about it. The list price is 40 bucks. Oh. And, and yeah, that, that's, that's why I... You know, when I heard about it, I said to the guy, yeah, I hope we're not talking about 60 to 70. The guy said, no, list is 40, and they're probably discounting it on Amazon. This is interesting, too, a gadget that I, I've not, I'm not that into soda to really buy it, but there's a soda maker, and you reviewed it. It's the uh, SodaStream Genesis. Yes, yeah, yeah, SodaStream. I'm liking 